perfect game, and I think this will be the first, was that the first release by the Thompson Twins? First release on a major label, yeah, because we yeah. had our own independent label, which we won't go into. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was at that time that a guy called Frank Partridge, who's a Newsbeat presenter, uh -huh. said to me, there's a great band yeah. called the Thompson Twins, and I don't know how he found out. If you're listening, Frank, you must let me, uh, let me know sometime. But he pushed me in your direction at that uh -huh. stage, and uh -huh. uh, there was a hell of a buzz going for the mm. band in those early days. Yeah, and w what was happening, because we, we were, <clears throat> well, with that being too immodest. We were a good live band, and so the sort of club circuit and everything was happening for us, but somehow we just couldn't seem to make the right record. Even working with producers like Steve Lillywhite? Yeah, I think the mistake was that we were trying to transfer the live action into a studio, mm. and we eventually realised... That just doesn't work. Now yeah. we write straight onto tape. Really? Uh, uh, well, I mean, we We've don't actually play the songs. <laughs> 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 Magnetic pencils, yes, carry on. Well, we don't actually play the songs. In the past, we used to make up the songs in a room. We'd all jam together, and out of that would come the songs. And this way, we just sort of sit down, and we'd write them between the three of us and put them straight onto tape. So actually, by the time we'd finished recording the last album, we'd, in fact, not played any of the songs on it. Until they were actually there. Yeah, on right. the recording <laughs> That's amazing. The sort of counterpoint to that is the technological side of things, because mm. we're dealing in synthesizers and computers now, whereas it used to be guitars and amplifiers and things. I was going to say, Alan, I is it just a, an attitude change in terms of writing? It's much easier to write when there's just three of us. Um, people don't get so precious about your ideas. You look at it more as a whole song and how it's going to go instead of, you know, this is my part it comes from my soul therefore we can't throw it out at the last minute or anything plus our orientation is towards the record before we used to think well how can we fit in both guitars that we've got and the basses and all the rest we have to f include everyone all the time so our instrumentation therefore the sound of the record was predefined now we just think right what do we need joe you you've worked in the studio on the current album with alex sadkin as producer grace jones obviously then gets into on, on the act as well she's on one of the songs as well yeah she's on um watching you watching me we offered her the bit because she she's, she does opera in her spare time, and uh, she obviously her app doesn't include that. Or I suppose it will do in the future. And uh, we were whacky enough, and we said, "Well, if you want to do something, you appre, we'll do it." Like <laughs> Come on! Honey. So she, you know, jumped at it, and yeah. uh, it's crazy because she said. I, w I wish I could sing like this on my own records because they're in a letter. Shall we dedicate this to the Grand Old Opry then, down in WSM <laughs> in Nashville? <laughs> this is Watching. <laughs>
The Thompson Twins, watching with a bit of Grace Jones' unusual vocalising in the background there. Actually, Joe, Grace maybe is the ultimate American dance heroine. And you, you've done remarkably well, The Thompson Twins, haven't you, as a, an American dance hit? Absolutely. In the Name of Love uh, was in, well, number one five weeks, and uh, we followed up with Lions. I think a lot of it is, uh, it's just luck, because I, I still pinch myself and think, well, what, what would have happened if that hadn't have uh, done the business in America? Maybe we wouldn't be sitting around this table now. Mm. Why America and not Britain? Because I think we must admit that Britain is a more interesting place musically. I mean, that's why your music has been created that way. But it's weird that America has picked up on it first. Yeah. The club scene's a lot bigger in America, isn't mm -hmm. it, than here? I mean, every town has quite a few clubs, and the clubs is sort of where things are happening there. So that's down to more money being around? Yeah. That people can afford to go out, or what? I don't know what it is, because there are Possibly. less groups. Well, mm. less groups of anything interesting to say, yeah. for sure. In terms of modern, let's say, even you could say synth-orientated music, there's maybe half a dozen groups in the whole of America, whereas you could take London and find, you know, 50 or 60 without even trying mm. hard. So I don't know. Maybe there's a sort of vacuum to fill in America, which we just happen to be lucky to you know, get in there. It reminds me of um, Eraserhead. I don't know if anyone's seen Eraserhead out there in... Uh... <laughs> I think a couple of them might have. Yeah. <laughs> but it's that kind of odd, 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 quirky, acceptably quirky. I think that's the difference. You can be totally quirky and it alienates a lot of people, but this is like uh, we've hit on a sort of like unacceptable quirkiness which pleases us and uh, satisfies Mm. So we're, we're, we're going to look into that a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all think we're sort of very English eccentric characters, you know, which we aren't really, I suppose, but they think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the Americans. <laughs> Here's the slushy ballad. Shall we have... No, it's, it's not a slushy ballad. It's yeah, a right. wet love a song. A wet love song. <laughs> there is a... <laughs> I think it's nice, whatever it is, anyway. Yeah. This is If You Were Here. <laughs>
I said it was good, didn't I? That's If You Were Here, the Thompson Twins, from their current album, a band... Well